Real reason I'm here, young lady, or I'll strangle you myself. So where have you been? I was in the city of brotherly love, like I told you. Not on some flight, like Gabrielle said. Gab Gabrielle, as usual, is, is very confused. Oh, so she just made a mistake. I, I, I don't know. I might have mentioned something about plane tickets to her, and I guess her little brain just got short-circuited. Plane tickets to where, Todd? Why do you always have to know everything? Why do you always keep secrets? <sighs> Kid, just plan a family surprise. What kind of surprise? That's where I was. When I got back from Philadelphia, very late on my dad, I went to the office and I spent all night trying to plan a family trip. A family trip? To where? Yeah. To where, Todd? To Houston. Visit Kelly and Kevin. All of us? You betcha. Cool. Well, you're always saying how much you want to go there and then, you know, something comes up and... Are there any rattlesnakes in Houston? No, there aren't rattlesnakes in Houston. But Houston's in Texas, and Texas has rattlesnakes. Houston is very similar to Landview Star, okay? Why all of a sudden, Todd? What? Because after everything that we've been through with Jack, especially you, I, I thought that we should go away somewhere. So I spent all night, but I finally got four plane tickets for today. Today? Yeah, sure, why not? Well, Todd, Jack just got out of the hospital last night. Uh, Dr. Schiller, I mean... Well, uh, fever's gone. Well, then there's no reason he can't travel, is there? But there is a catch, see? Uh, <laughs> I couldn't get four plane tickets on the same flight. What? Well, Jack doesn't need a, a seat anyway. What's... The well, big deal. He may not need one, but I got him one. And and like I said, they're not all on the same flight. So so you and Star, you head down this morning, and then Jack and I will head down, uh, you know, later tonight. What? Please, please, please. Look, I think it makes more sense to wait, Todd. Come on. No. Come on. Look, we've been through a lot. I, I just think really that the best thing for this family is for us to just go away as a family, spend a little time together. Since when do you make family plans anyway, Todd? Since you changed me. You know what? I, this two-flight thing, I... Look, if Jack is gonna get on a plane, he's gonna travel with me. This is a democracy. It's two against one. And you are not canceling that trip. I'm not canceling it, all right? I'm just gonna change it just a little bit. So here's the deal. I will go with Jack in the evening. You go with Star in the morning. Information out of prisoners at the Geneva Convention doesn't exactly condone. I don't know anything about his plan. I promise you that. But as soon as he comes back, I'm sure he'll tell you everything. No, oh, you are, are you? Yes, and as far as paying your retainer, I'm living proof that Todd is very generous to those who cooperate with him. How so? Todd and I have a hate-hate relationship, but he admires the work that I do at The Sun as his style editor. And he pays me very generously. Uh, and I'm certain, even though I don't know his plan, that he will pay you a significant amount for your participation. Define significant. That's six, six figures. To start. Yeah. Oh. Now, I was promised a suite at the palace. I suggest you try to make me a little bit more comfortable right away. Well, I'll do the best that I can. I'd like a nice tea with a lemon wedge, a sprig of mint, and a bendy straw, please. Well, I don't know about the mint or the bendy straw. But I'll see if I can find one. Thank you. <laughs> it's rather mysterious, isn't it? Why all the secrecy? Why won't Todd tell me his plan? Why would he hire that tart to be the style editor of the sun? And why would Bo 
shares a home with her. As far as Nigel is concerned, I... Yes, no matter what Asa ever did to him in same places, I can't imagine him ever plotting a revenge. Unless this doesn't have anything to do with Asa. I think I'm going to have to use all my fab skills to figure this one out. Lemon, no mint, straight straw. If you had had such fabulous skills, you'd still be married to Asa, wouldn't you? Federal Anti-Crime Bureau, Fab. Thank you. Oh, that's where you learned your interrogation skills, is it? Precisely. Mm -hmm. They also teach you how to steal funeral urns? Mm. I'm starving. I'd like to have eggs, Benedict, light on the hollandaise, please. We don't have hollandaise. Oh. Whip some up or send out for it. Buchanan residence. Miss Gabriel, I cannot take this any longer. I am out of here. You, you can't. Todd explicitly forbade you to leave. Well, I think I remember him saying that he forbade both of us to leave. I'm on my way. Please, madam, don't do anything rash. Neither of you want to take me. You both love Jack Moore. Oh, Star, we have been over this. We love you both the same. Then how come neither of you want to take me? It's not about that. It's j Jack has been sick, sweetheart, and your daddy and I are worried sick about him. And if he is going to travel, he should be traveling with his mother, okay? The doctor said he was fine. What difference does it make? You're right, Star. Really, it shouldn't make a difference. This isn't about who loves who. This is about who can't stand who. Todd, what do you mean? No, no, not, not, it's Kelly. I can't, I can't stand Kelly. Why not? Well, have you ever talked to her? But the thing is, it's not important. You, you like her, your mother likes her, so that's why I planned this whole big surprise. You go down, you see her, you leave in the morning, that way you get to spend more time with Kelly. That makes sense, doesn't it make sense? Makes sense to me. That way you get a whole extra day with Kelly doing all kinds of blonde cowgirl things like, like horseback riding and, 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 and cow tipping and, and cattle branding. There's cattle branding? Be any cattle branding. Why not? Because Kevin and Kelly live in a house, not a ranch. A house just like ours, except ours is bigger. Yep, but it's still, this is the way that it makes sense. Blair, I've thought about this a lot, and this is the way it's going to be. Time with Kelly. Fine, fine, <gasps> fine. Thank we'll you, go thank down you this so morning. Much. You're okay. the best parents yeah, in the yeah, whole yeah. wide world. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we'll head out, but... Oh, I've had he pack a bunch of stuff for Jack, but don't forget his blanket and put a, you know, extra form. You know what, Blair, I'll figure it out. I will. You better get going. You're going to miss your flight. Come on, we're going to miss it. Come on, let's go. Bye. All right, let's go. I don't care how large a donation you're making to my research project, but that baby needs treatment. And if something happens Nothing's to him, gonna happen. I took care of it. That's where I was last night. Everything's set. The last four hours have been impossible. It's been barely an hour, madam. You see? You see? I cannot do this any longer, at least not alone. I have duties at the mansion. Well, they're not my problem. There must be some practical solution to our problem. Anesthesia, perhaps. I found her. Found who? The perfect bone marrow donor. She's ready, and she's waiting. It'll be okay, it'll be okay. Jack will be okay. He has to be. Nigel, I can't tolerate this woman any longer. But it's for a good cause, madam. What good cause? Keeping Alex Olenoff with everything she needs? No, saving us both from the wrath of Mr. Manning. Hello? Yeah, I'm on my way. I'm bringing a doctor who's going to do a blood test on Alex to determine whether or not she can be Jack's donor. Give her a donut. Keep her happy. Todd! Todd! Thank you! 
course he tells me. He tells me just give her a donut and keep her happy, and then he hangs up. I don't have a bloody donut to give uh, her. Uh, I think there's a far more pressing problem, madam. We don't have an Alex.